right, welcome to the Sales Wolf Podcast. This is number six, and this is Tyler Harris. I'm Joseph Caldwell, and we are the Sales Wolves. Uh -huh. Man, we do that better every time. Every time. It's getting better, man. So why are we here? We are here, uh, I think there's two reasons. Two First reasons. is to show appreciation uh, for always. salespeople that need it now more than ever because like we always talk about, you walk into a party and you got the lawyer and you got the doctor and you got the surgeon, you got the, the banker and then all of a sudden you got the sales guy and it's like, Ugh, ooh, uh, sorry, you know, hopefully things will, will hope you, know, you, hope hopefully you can find your gig better. in life. Yeah, yeah, hopefully you'll figure out your purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I always uh, love that. Yeah, I always well, love that, that when that happens to me. But then also we want to provide... And it's usually from a doc... It's, I'm not going to say it. Because <laughs> I'll offend somebody. It's usually from somebody who thinks more highly of themselves than they should. But, yeah, yeah. Um, or that bases their, their purpose off of a degree. Off of a degree. On a yeah. yeah. On a wall. Then, that's then true. The amount of money in their bank. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, here's the thing. Not that that's right either. either. <laughs> <laughs> but it's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting off to a stellar start. Yeah. We're actually going to piss off everybody today, yeah, so that's okay. That's the goal. Yeah, that's okay. So we're going to provide some training today. Uh, this is soul searching today, right? Yeah. This is uh, we're going to cover a topic: um, balance, balance, work-life balance. We've heard Work that, right, Tyler? Life balance. Yeah, we hear yeah. it all the time. Yeah, hear it all the time. Hear, hear people. What we want today to be is like work-life balance anonymous. Anonymous. So that everyone watching, you can just feel like you're in you're you're in a meeting. You know, we may not have a twelve step program, but we're gonna have a number of different reasons today as to why work life balance is a complete exactly complete right. fantasy. Complete fantasy. Yeah, so so while you're watching this, just imagine yourself standing up. My name is Joseph Caldwell and I'm a recovering work life balance believer. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Which is which is really like saying this. If I if I say I'm a, I'm a balance uh, uh, and I'm recovering from from balance belief, mm. that's really like saying I'm recovering from wanting to be average. Yeah, or being lazy. From being <laughs> that's one way to say it. From being lazy. From being mediocre. Who yeah. says that? Who wakes up and's like, man, I'm gonna give this a big whole half ass effort today. Mm -hmm. I'm yep. just gonna I'm gonna be I'm 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 team halfway. Yep, team half hard. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Alex saying that? So, so a long time ago, in a, in a land far, far away, I had a team called Team Hustle Hard, and it was a sales team, and we just... And they hustled and hard. we hustled hard. Yeah. And, hustled. Uh, and one of our other coordinators from another team said that they were going to change their, their team name to Team Half Hard. Because <laughs> they were just doing okay. What is it? <laughs> Oh, so this one's gonna have to be edited, maybe, for the first time. Which is actually important for people to know that these episodes aren't edited. I've no, never we're not cut, edited them. Never we're cut just, anything out. No, we put them out there. That's um, what it is. Yeah, I we do, don't want to make everybody. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We kind of want to make everybody mad today. I do want to. I do want to start with a quote, though. Um, you know, before we get into the real meat of it. And I read this uh, this week in I think it was the Huffington Post, and it said, "Work and life aren't binary. Balance." <laughs> is dynamic, not static. That's great. And life is much more complex than just being non-work. Non so there's not life and non-work, right? Work-life balance is a fantasy and believing in it is holding us back from true happiness. 100%. So let's 100%. get into it. Let's do it, man. So I'll start off <laughs> by saying, first and foremost, Work-life balance is extremely personal. Yeah. It's different for me than it is for Joseph, than it is Far for different. every person in this so office. So name some of the things that are different so, so people get the idea, right? Yeah. So for so, just me and you, let's so, talk me yeah. and you. So I've got uh, almost six-month-old. Right. I've got four. I have four, what, 13, a 12, 11, and nine-year-old, yeah. yeah. right? Um, I'm way younger. Um, what? <laughs> And I'm way better looking, so it's a hard, it's a hard. <laughs> uh, I, I am going to throw something at you. <laughs> but, but it's very personal to every single person. Every single person, there's literally an infinite number of, of variables that come into play uh, when you talk about someone's work, uh, work-life balance, uh, which will by the end of this, we'll quit even calling it that. I don't know what we'll call it, but it should not exist whatsoever. But, but 
someone that does have kids, doesn't have kids, married, not married, this career, that career, this stage of life, that stage of life, this past, that past. There are so many things that come into it and in and, and the relationships, like not just married, not married, married and have a, this type of relationship, this type of spouse, this type of spouse, every single thing. Your spouse so works or doesn't work or whatever. It's, so it's so personal that I would challenge you to be very weary of anything you see online, any people trying to teach you about work-life balance. Because right. unless that is a one-on-one -on -one counseling type deal, no one can stand on a soapbox and preach about work-life balance no. to a, a group of people that are so completely different. Can't do it's it. just impossible. So that, I do want to start off by that so that you know that this is not us, that we're going to try to give you the answer to work-life balance. The answer is that there is no work-life There is work no work-life balance. balance. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So That's I think we can just kind of call it what it is. So work-life balance is an excuse. That's all it is. It's, it's a crutch. It's something to hide behind. That's right. Uh, and, it, and unfortunately, it's an excuse that people use for their lack of work ethic, their yep. lack of results, and ultimately their lack of ambition because it's where they want to go, not just right. what they've done, but where they, but what they want to do. It's, it's used in, as an excuse for that. And the funniest part about that is... I heard you say this in one of your Facebook lives yeah, that night. It was yeah. fri uh, last Friday. Awesome. Um, and it just, live, it is, just randomly randomly came out. Wasn't even talking about that originally. We just run off on a rant on it because we're so sick and tired of it. But it is only... You only hear people talking about work-life balance that aren't really working. Right. That aren't doing well in their career. Yep. You never, you never hear the person that's like, oh, I'm an, I, I, I am just crushing it in sales this month. But I've been a terrible dad. Well, yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's always the opposite. It's always like, I've been a great dad this week. My sales have suffered a little, but I've been a great dad. And they don't, they use it as an excuse. So, <laughs> so I'm, I've, I, I'm a great whatever it is at home. And we're not telling you to ignore your kids, by the way. Yeah. Um, you spent, what, the first three months of your daughter's life? Ten with weeks her. straight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was incredible. That was awesome. Yeah. Because the previous months, yeah. you were working. Yeah. yeah. There was no sleep. There was no, yeah. I mean, you hammered down, right? Mm -hmm. And so you could do what you wanted to do there. Yeah. But nobody uses that work-life balance, like you're saying, as an excuse mm -hmm. for <laughs> the opposite, right? They use it so I don't, I don't. I don't need to work as much because I, I need a better I need to work life balance. They they don't they don't say man, whew, I've been too good of a dad. I need to let <laughs> I need I to need, cut it back. I, I, I need, need to rein it back a little. I need to rein back my fatherhood <laughs> and uh, sheepers cry. I need to lay it down at work. Some I haven't more. seen one of my kids cry in at least a month. In at least a month, I need, somebody's got to cry. We've got to man. My marriage, my marriage is far too good. <laughs> I need to actually spend more time at work. No, no. She's getting a little spoiled. She's a little... <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about she our wives. To... <laughs> <laughs> She's realized how bad other wives have it. <laughs> yeah. I need to go, I need to stay away longer. I mean, and these are just examples. These aren't real life. These aren't real, this is not real life. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> but you never, you never, I don't know that I have ever heard someone talk about work like life balance when the when the conversation of the work life balance didn't result in them talking about cutting back on working or working less or or that's the only time, time less or or being on the road less or whatever it is it's all about making less and it's always on the work side that's right and, and so that's really the main point that we want to get across today is that why is it's it's a less mentality? Mm -hmm. Why in the world? So if we've got it's a lack mentality. Yeah, exa right. Exactly. So if we've got uh, exactly, if we've got a balance, a scale here, and the scale is unbalanced. So let's just say it kind of looks like this, or or like that over there, or like this, <laughs> or like something that's on our table. <laughs> so there's two ways to balance a scale. I can't look at that. Over you there. can <laughs> you can take away from what's up here, yep. which is what everyone does. Yep. Or you can add to what's down here right. to balance the scale. There's, there, there are in fact two ways of balancing a scale. That's right. 
And so why is it that every single person when they talk about work-life balance talks about the subtraction and not the addition? They the talk about there being only 24 hours in a day, but they're still sleeping 10 of them. Yep. <laughs> and they don't realize that they could sleep oh, eight of them oh, and add two to the family. And now me, you've that's exactly balanced right. things. For me to be a better dad, for me to be a better <laughs> husband, yeah. I've got to work less, mm -hmm. not be lazy less. Yeah. Yep. I don't cut TV time out. Mm -hmm. What the? Man. Cut football sports time out? Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, for me, I mean, having having a new a new baby for me, it was um, working out. I, I love to work out. It's a big part of my life. And with the baby that goes to sleep at six thirty, when I'm home, which is which is not a lot, I'm gone three to four nights a week. But the the days that I'm in town, I can't work out after work because I would get home and the baby be asleep. Right. And so it wasn't a, well, I guess the baby's just going to be asleep right now. It's not going to see her. It was, no, you got to start working out in the morning. Right. What'd you tell me? Before you had a child, do you remember this? What'd you tell me? I said, Tyler, when do you work out? Every afternoon. And I said, man, you ever try working out in the morning? No, I don't like working out in the morning. I work out in the afternoon. I hate it. And I still hate it. So what did you change? I put accountability in place. That's exactly right. Put accountability system in place um, to get up at 430. And, and get and get working out by five. And that's, I still hate it, Yeah. but it's gotten a whole lot easier. Sure. And, 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 and it gets it done, it gets it out of the way, and now I can spend those two hours with a baby that will, will only be in that stage of her life once, you know? That's it. And man. if I'm gone three to four nights a week, who am I to not be here when I am here? Yep. And that's actually, now that, now that I just said that, that, that something that's not even on our outline for today, um, I've had so many people, friends, um, coworkers, pe just people uh, that I've known uh, throughout my life that have said things to me like, man, you're going to burn out. You, oh. you are going to get burned out. You can't stay on the road like that. You can't work hours like that. You can't do the things you're doing. You can't do it forever. You're going to get burned out. Um, and the funny thing is, and, I, and I've told a few of them this, is that it's all about time, but it's all about quality time. And so when I'm home, I'm trying to spend as much quality time as I can right. uh, with my wife, with my child. And so I may be on the road three to four nights a week, and I've told people this just straight to their face. I am spending more quality time with my wife, even though I'm on the road four nights a week, than you and you're home every single night. That's a fact. I am spending more quality time because the phone's put away. You're actually having conversations. Yep. And quite frankly, it's it's made it to where a lot of times, like like the friends that I have, I haven't hung out with a friend in like a year. Like, but you don't have friends. But <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes you. That's, that could be it. Don't take my daughter said to me when she was three. <laughs> so I always go in when I'm in town, I'll go in and put them to bed, right? Mm -hmm. And I went in and and I always tell them how special they are and, and everything. It's, it's it's what I do. That's because mm -hmm. they are special. Yeah. And so I was telling uh, Isabella how special she was. I think she was like three or something like that. And I said, baby, there's nobody like you on this whole earth. And she looked at me with her loving eyes and put her hands on my face. Mm -hmm. You know how they do? Mm -hmm. Like your little one will touch yeah. your beard now. Uh -huh. um, she goes, daddy, nobody likes you either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, you had the S and it makes it all the <laughs> makes all the difference like, in the world. It's like that one uh, it's like that one meme I saw one time where it talks about how important punctuation is. Oh, like, eat like, grandma. Let's, let's eat, comma, grandma. And then it said, let's eat grandma. And yeah. Said, one comma can change everything. Changes the dynamics of the whole situation. There was so what, there was what something with a guy named Jack and a horse. I can't remember that one. Um, the uh, <laughs> what you're talking about though, that mental ping pong, because here's the thing, most people are trying to do the balance thing. They've read this, yeah. this psycho babble BS on Facebook or something mm -hmm. or online they've read that they've got a at five o'clock oh my god it's five o'clock I, I, I'm a terrible parent or husband or whatever or, mm -hmm. you know this is this is how it's supposed to be some kind of paradigm in your head uh. that sh needs to shift mm -hmm. um, and 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 they get home and what are they doing what are they doing yeah honey how was your day yeah oh yeah absolutely oh yeah you died okay um, <laughs> yeah yeah it's, you got diagnosed with a tumor and uh, um, you see what I'm saying? I'm not paying attention to her. Mm -hmm. I'm not I mean, paying attention to my child. Sports center for the fourth time in a row. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. right. So, so it's it's a mental ping pong because I haven't gone all in, right? What you're talking about? People say you set yourself on or uh, you'll burn out. Mm -hmm. 
the people that are telling, that told me, and that still tell me that I'll burn out. How, what time do, you, do I get up in the morning? Do you know? I don't know that you don't actually. I don't I do know that you actually sleep. sleep, sleep <laughs> but it's probably three, if two, not two, two to four. Thirty, yeah. Two to four sometime. It's most times. Like, oh, that's when oh. all. My, that's when all the emails come to me. I <laughs> that's when the. That's when the scathing, <laughs> the help. Help me, God. Um, but uh, I. I don't do that all the time. Yeah. I'll sleep in until six, or sometimes like I slept mm -hmm. until six thirty one day, and I was like, oh my God, I waste my whole day. <laughs> like it starts feeling like that. Yeah. But but people have said that you're going to burn out. You're burning. You can't burn the candle at both ends. And I've always thought, how in the hell would they know mm -hmm. their candle has never been lit? <laughs> That's exactly right. It's never been lit. Nobody. If you've never been on fire, you certainly don't have a right to judge somebody that is. And I used to tell people when somebody would tell me that, I'd be like, Look here, I'm gonna dump gasoline on me, set myself on fire, and y'all can just come and watch me burn, and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Because I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing. And I pour myself into my my children that way, yeah. right? See, we're not. Some people are gonna go. Well, they're just talking about. Man, they just want you to, to work all the time and not do anything else. Now, let me ask you something. What's a relationship? It's work, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. What's being a parent? It's work, right? Anything. Friendship is work, you know. Mm -hmm. And work is work. And so we expect that instead of trying to do this juggling act between them all, mm -hmm. right? You go all in on those areas. You, it's, it's funny. I, I, people that work with us, I tell them when they're going to be off, they need to what? Be off. off. Be off. Mm -hmm. don't, don't answer my phone call. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's me calling. I don't care if... If the phone rings and it says Jesus Christ, I'm not answering it. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it. Sorry. I actually plugged in my contact. On the phone. <laughs> and it says, that's why I've never answered when he called. And I was busy. <laughs> but uh, but if I'm doing something with my wife, my, 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 my daughter, I had a date with her last night. I did not look at my phone. Mm -hmm. I had a date with my 13-year-old. She still wants to go on dates with me. She still yeah. wants to talk to me. All right, so I'm all in right there. We had a two and a half hour dinner at Melting Pot, and she told me about everything going on in her life. It was the funnest, best time ever. The only time we she touched her phone or I touched my phone was to take pictures of the food and each other, and that was it. It was picture time, That's awesome. you know. Um, but but if you're gonna be off, then be completely off. But you know why most people can't be off? Why is that? Because they don't understand what being on is. <laughs> They don't understand how to be That's good. on. They don't understand yeah. when it's on time. My family knows if I'm on and I'm working, I do not hear what they're saying. Mm -hmm. I don't hear. You could talk to me. You could talk to me. Like I said, God could talk to me. Yeah. Um, you know, bolt of lightning would get my attention. But <laughs> burning bush over here. Dude, burning. burning. <laughs> that, that wouldn't faze me. <laughs> I'd have been a terrible Abraham. Isn't that who would? Yeah. Or Moses. That was Moses. <laughs> That was right next to uh, uh, what the book. Second of, hesitations. Second hesitations. First, first opinions. <laughs> first Joseph, second opinion. Or I'm not sure. <laughs> Something. <laughs> that's right down there from the book of Noah. Uh, <laughs> so that's what they have to do content. Oh, that's right. Anyway, so that's that's it. And I I, I put that on there because I want people to understand. You're, you 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 need to learn how to be off and be on. Yeah. Right. But when I'm off, all I'm talking about is, is I've pushed work here, mm -hmm. right? I gave it everything I had when I was there. Yep. And when I get back to it, I'm going to give it everything I got. Yep. There's not going to be any balance. I'm 100%. 100%. Balance does not mean equal. <laughs> That's right. Balance mean does equal. not mean equal. And, and I've had a lot of people reach out to me lately on, on Facebook and Instagram. And because and I, I pretty much document my life when I'm on the road and, and the insane hours that I'm working and, and insane volume that we do. Uh, and, the, and people I will message me. Facebook lives, man. I've probably That's gotten awesome. 10 messages in the last couple of weeks and they're like, how, how are you able to keep that type of schedule up? And I did, and I explained to them extremely transparently and I, and I tell people it's all about going in spurts. Yeah. So it. you can go hard for, three, four days, 20 hours a day, 20 plus hours a day sure. sometimes. Yeah. And then the next day, go a little less. Yeah. You can go for three weeks insanely hard and then the yep. fourth week have a little less. Yep. 
And, and taking it a step further, you probably want to talk about this because I know you talk to all of our coordinators about it all the time about, about planning things out in the future and getting your family bought in. If you want to Yeah, absolutely, because I had to do that. Mm -hmm. I had to do that because I didn't mm -hmm. want my kids, you know, hung out with their friends and my wife would hang out with her friends and their husbands are home every night, mm -hmm. right? Home by a certain time and, and fixing the washing machine or, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't. I don't even know what one of those is. <laughs> so, <laughs> couldn't fix it. I don't even know if I could find it in the house. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. so, where was I going with that? <laughs> but, but planning things in the future. Planning things. So, yeah, yeah. so I would sit down and I would go, okay, I'm going to be gone. It's three months. I'm and when you do see me, I'm probably going to be a zombie. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to be, I'm not going to be the stellar interactor, right? Mm -hmm. I've got, I've got to do this work. And this is what's gonna happen in these three months and this is why it's important. Mm -hmm. and, and you need to see me work hard because you need, to, and you need to have a good work ethic. You need to instill a work ethic mm -hmm. in your kids and those around you. And so I would tell them this is gonna happen here. At the end of that three months, this is what we're gonna do. And I would paint the picture of, of delayed gratification. Mm -hmm. I know that everybody's gonna be go, what is that? That's a foreign concept <laughs> mm -hmm. these days. I want a pen, I buy a pen. Mm -hmm. I want a, I want a burger, I get a burger. Mm -hmm. I want to, I, you know, I want, I get it. I want it, I get it. I want it, I get it. No, you know, if you want it, you will work towards it and then you get to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I would go through those three months and the whole family would be bought into it. The whole family would be like, how many first responders did you cover? How many, how many, how many sales did you make? How, how many, who, who'd you help? Daddy, how many, how many, how many agents are out there now? How much money did you help them make? Or, mm -hmm. you know, and they would be bought in and, and, and then at the end of that, I disappear with them. I'm yeah. all in. I'm a hundred percent and they get all of their dad. I get to be hundred percent dad, hundred percent husband. And, and, and that's how it works. Mm -hmm. If you and I are going to go out and do something together as friends, if we're going to go out and do it, then be a hundred percent me and Tyler. We're mm -hmm. friends. We're, we're buddies. Maybe he needs a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> Oh, you said that like that's happened him and, recently. Him and Chuck Norris have never shed a tear. <laughs> um, <laughs> if they did, I'm fairly certain the tear would cure cancer. <laughs> what does that mean? Face layer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. But, but yeah, it's, anyway, it's, it's all it's about planning. going all in in all areas of your life and in understanding that balance does not mean that those different areas of your life are going to be equal and understanding that every single day, no less every single week, month, year, but every single day that scale is going to slide. And you're going to have some days where the work is here, some days where the work is here. Some days where home is here, some days where home is here. Every single day is different. That's and right. it's just being at peace with that and, and yep. knowing that that there is there, there's so much more peace when you know exactly, you know exactly where you're headed based on the amount of work you're putting in in all areas of your life, and right. don't look at it as, in order to to do what I need to do, I need to take away from this area. Figure out how you can add to the other areas uh, that right. you're lacking. Um, there was one other thing that I was gonna. Um, we all waste so much time to. <laughs> yeah. The Sleeping. average person watches. Oh, that's crazy. It's like three or four hours a day. Yeah, a day. That's, three, that's insane. Three hours a day. Hmm. Time seven is 21 hours. You know, you just went and hung out with uh, Tyler and Christina. Yeah. I remember, I I remember like a year ago, it may have been more than a year ago, uh, I was talking to Tyler and he said, uh, he's like, yeah, we just cut our cable. We, we cut off all of our TVs because we want to start reading more. And I was like, that's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. I know this. When I went and met with them, I went and looked at their house. Their yeah. house is beautiful. Yeah, they just got them the renovation. Great buy. They're in the middle of that renovation. Mm -hmm. They've got it's beautiful. But um, but talking to him, he is such a winner, man. Yeah. He he's made these decisions. He mm -hmm. he looks at it that way. Yeah. And and and, I, and that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. yeah. He didn't tell me that, but they didn't have a yeah. TV on when I was there. Yeah. I don't even remember seeing the TV. Yeah. To be honest with you. But you know. that's uh. That's interesting. Yeah, and so that's really the topic of today um, is is work life balance. There is no such thing. 
uh, as work-life balance. And and the funny thing that, that we'll kind of leave you with is, you know, you know the phrase like you can't have your cake and eating it too. Yeah, yeah. It's completely wrong. It's bullcrap. You can have. All Every the, cake. All the cake. And you yep. can eat all the cake. That's right. If you're w- willing Tyler's to... Tyler's proof of that. <laughs> it's protein cake. It's protein cake. It's protein. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole key to that is if, <laughs> if you're willing to put the effort in. That's right. You can have it. Um, and, and so what 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 is normal human nature is to use those excuses when you're not willing to put the effort that's right and it's wanting to surround yourself with other people that will make you feel better about your lack of effort your lack of work your lack of results to surround yourself with people and if you see someone that's going off and doing something crazy you're like whoa 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 let's bring that guy back in so we can all feel so we can all feel all normal feel better and normal like average, we're doing okay mediocre uh, just don't buy into that surround yourselves with yeah. people that are that are of the same mentality mm-hmm. uh, and that that all are in the same mentality of all in and every every single aspect you know i talked to my wife one day and that's, that's good. That's part of it. That's, <laughs> that's part, balanced. That's balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Got to communicate. But I was talking to her, and and it was in the middle of one of these stints where we're just doing what people don't normally do, you know, going so very hard. And if we explained it to people, sometimes they wouldn't. Yeah. They would. They would just think you're insane to work more than a 24-hour day, like mm-hmm. in a row, and not sleep. But. Mm-hmm. Um, I was talking to her and, and it was especially hard. This is before we had a lot of success yeah. and things were especially hard. And, and, and I asked her, I said, I know you probably wish I was a little bit normal, but I gotta be honest with you. When you signed up for this, what you got was anything but normal. Mm-hmm. I hate normal. Mm-hmm. I hate average, normal. I hate balance. There's no such thing go at things as hard as you possibly can. One of my favorite movies is, uh, just to wrap this up, is Carpe Diem. I mean, uh... (laughs) (laughs) Never seen that one. Uh, is Dead Poet Society. Yeah. With, um, it's one of my favorite movies is is Dead Poet Society, Robin Williams. Mm. Um, and the line in there that they talk about is seize the day. Carpe Diem. And and if you look at work-life balance, right, it is on this end of the yardstick, this end of the scale. On the other end of the scale is carpe diem. It's mm-hmm. seize the day, the very moment. Take advantage of it. Suck the marrow out of life. Um, go after, after what you're doing, go after it with all your heart, right? Whether that is work, whether that is, and whatever your work is, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter whether you're an engineer, a sales guy, a doctor, a lawyer, whether you're a, a, a single parent, a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad, whatever you're going after, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a marriage, you go after it with all your heart. You seize the day. You carpe diem. That balance stuff is on the other end. And and it flows right out of what you said. It's a work-life balance is a fantasy. And believing in it is holding us back from true happiness. We are only truly happy when we are pursuing something with everything we've got. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Right. So Absolutely. That's all. And and the person that's watching this, and because I'm envisioning myself on the other on the other side of the phone or the other side of the computer, uh, or or the other you know in the in the in the earbuds or the earbuds. Uh, the air. Yeah, yeah. In the earbud, the movie with about the golden retriever that plays yeah. basketball. <laughs> <laughs> the AirPods are the new ones, which are awesome, by the way. Those AirPods. Yeah. Um, but what I wanted to say was that if you're listening to this, or you're watching this, and you've got you know this area, you've got this level of you know work ethic, this level of your you know your home life, your family life, you got that, and and you're 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 happy, you're not complaining, then by all means you win like you're yeah. you're winning yeah um, so so this advice is not for someone that's in a in, in a current situation and and is not complaining it's for the ones that are complaining it's for the sure. ones that are that are complaining about their lack of results but are looking at work-life balance as a way to subtract and rather than a way of adding 
uh, to it to go all in on in every area. So the people that I envy those people that that are in a situation where you know they, they get to work at nine, they leave at five, they completely leave the work at home, like they don't even bring anything home yeah. at all. They they go to their kids' soccer game, they got you know happy hour, they got you know intramural flag sure. football, and then they spend time with their wife. They do all this and they're happy and they're great making Perfect. whatever they're making. Yeah. Awesome. Good. I mean that's that's. That it's the American dream, right? Because it's your American dream. It's that's whatever right. you want. Um, this information is for the person that's that's out there, and they talk about work-life balance, and they use it as a crutch, and they yep. use it as an excuse, yep. and they use it as, a, as something to hide behind, and they complain. Or, or it's for the person who is so frustrated and feeling guilty because they think hmm. that they were supposed to be home at 5, they got there at 5.15 and they're a crappy dad for it. Yeah, or they're a crappy mom for it. Man. That's who this is for. That's so you true. can understand that this is a deeply personal thing. Yeah. And, and what we want to encourage people to do is hammer down when you do something. Right? That's what that quote means when it talks about happiness. It's not, it's, not letting, it's not letting society decide what work-life balance is for you. Yeah. That is absolutely ridiculous. Some guy with a pipe and a patch and, and sitting behind a desk just came up with some yeah. psycho babble BS about work life balance. Well, oh, work life balance doesn't mean balance does not mean equal. Uh, so just go all in on all areas of your life and, and so, try to use addition, not subtraction, when you're talking about creating balance. 100%. Um, so that, guys, is that's episode six. Um, if you're enjoying these podcasts, please share it up on Facebook. Uh, tag a friend in the comments is an awesome way if you've got someone that hey, needed to you, hear this. If you don't enjoy them, hey, just share it with all your friends and see Absolutely. if they don't enjoy it either. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, we can just fail our way to we the top. We can fail our way to the top. If you've got if you've got three friends and ten customers, and then you they go get three and friends. And they go get, they get ten customers. <laughs> except we're not selling anything. Except we're not so selling. With right. that, I am Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Uh, All right.